That's what it is. <laughs> There is a lot of racers here today. A lot. We'll see.
this I went red. I don't know how I pushed it. Okay, here's my first round. As you can see, they had a 26, I had a 52. They were one over. I was three over. I was probably about two over, and then I stabbed the brakes down there because I could see I wasn't going to catch them. So uh, I kind of let them get a couple feet from the finish line and I stabbed the brakes and so it probably knocked one off of it. Uh, I still wasn't going to catch them. They had a better light. I was, I, I had a 43 the first run, my time run, and then I went a 52. I don't know, I just off a little bit, I guess. I thought I'd spud it. I raised the engine RPM up a little bit and I thought it would speed up a little, but it didn't. So. It is what it is. We volunteered our money for today to help Manatee County get back from their virus at Brandon Motorsport Park. So uh, good to them. A lot of people here, a lot of racers here, no spectators, but there's a lot of racers. So uh, they do have buyback first round. We're not, not we're not going buyback. We're just going to chalk it up. Make a day of it. Go home, get some sleep. I'll show you TJ's. We had some trouble with TJ's bike. First, we we didn't get to test it with the ride back and the starter and stuff. Didn't get to go test it. And uh, we had a couple of issues today with it. The, the starter nut for the hex drive. I believe it cut it. It cut loose. So. Uh, Cleaned it up, got all that straightened out, and uh, locked tight in it on there again, and it was good for that run. Uh, it didn't hurt nothing. And, but other than made him a nervous wreck, of course. You know. 
He run a guy that they both had dialed a 69. And uh, the guy had a 12 light, TJ had a 73. And they both went a 74. 74 with an O for TJ, 74 with an A for the other guy. So it's a little slower than I thought it was going to run. We dialed it a 69. It, it went a 79 to run before, and it was all over the racetracks. So we picked it up a tenth. I thought it would run a little faster than a 74, but it is what it is. Decent made to run, it started and it drove back. So uh, we made headway there. Uh, we'll take it home and fix little things and be ready for the next one. If you like it, drive it back, kind of. Yeah. Yeah, okay. And it figures this race we didn't have, I wasn't racing right before them or right after them. So we had plenty of time to push up and back and this, that, and the other. But we went ahead and drove it. You know, we built, we did it so we could drive it up and start it and everything. So that's what we did. We just started using it so we could fix the little bugs and stuff in it. And uh, we go from there. We had, to, we had to change the air gap and the clutch and everything, so that kind of threw us for a loop. Let's be different. It just, you know, you're trying to race and trying to get the boats worked out of it at the same, same time. No excuse, but it is what it is. We knew we were, you know, we knew we were going to be uh, behind the eight ball right off the bat because you only get one qualifier. And then you go right into first round. So, but at least we get to race it. It's gonna be it's gonna be a few weeks before we get to go again. I'm on call, right. TJ's on call, and uh, they've got the no time race and a couple of other things coming up. So, no more bracket race until next month or the end of the month Memorial weekend, I think, but then I'm, I'm going to call it more than a week. But anyway, like, subscribe, and comment. Any day of the track's a good day. <laughs> Don't matter.